Hi there, it's Natalie from Maryville's Loft. I hope you've all had a wonderful start to 2013 and welcome back to my series of Philofaxiness. Like I told you at the end of last year, I said that the first video of this year is going to go into reviewing my domino. Um, and so, well, here we have it. This is my domino. Um, I think it's a violet or a dark violet, I'm not quite sure. Um, so let me show you what I've done with it. I haven't done very much with it, I must honestly say, because I've been pretty busy over the festive season. Um, it has my vital information in it at the moment, and I'm quite happy with it as it, is, as it stands already. I do plan to decorate it more and, you know, um, make it really mine as the year progresses, and I will keep you updated as soon as it's done, done. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me show you what I've got. Um, on this side of the file of hacks, I have some paper clips, which I obviously use to uh, keep some notes together if I need to, or you know, keep keep things in place. Um, I, I I love this uh, the feeling of this this domino. It does feel amazing. It's got sort of like a velour kind of feel to it. Uh, excuse me. I have uh, in in my card holder. I have my magic cutter, which is a, a funky little cutter that cuts out little pieces of paper without having to use scissors and stuff. So I like to have that with me at all times. Um, I have uh, an HB pencil uh, uh, on this side because I think it's really important to use a pencil. I'm constantly filling things in with pen and notice that these these um, dates change appointments change and so I've now started to really use pencil um, as much as I can. Um, in my pocket here I have um, extra post-its uh, and just a brochure that I need and I don't actually have anything in these because I just found it got a bit bulky. I did have extra post-its in here as well but I just found that I couldn't close it properly. It just became too bulging. Uh, for that, I have this clear folder. Uh, it's the um, like a zippy folder, and it's got extra pens inside, extra post-its, um, some tape, um, highlighters, and colors so that I can color code appointments and stuff. And this I keep with me. I don't actually put it inside the the, the folder itself because I find it gets really bulky, and so I like to when I when I am working in my my file effects, I tend to take this out. So, what I've done um, in my file effects is I've really just transferred all my other stuff from my last file effects into here. Um, and so, I, I guess everyone's file effects is always a work in progress. So, this one probably is going to evolve over the next while. So, here we have my dashboard. Um, I have shopping lists in here, important information that I can just, that you know, I see as soon as I open the file effects. Um, then I have a section that I've started where I'm going to fill it up with um, various quotes, motivational stuff that I like to read. At the moment this is the my favourite poem, The Road by Robert Frost. Uh, well, The Road Not Taken, sorry, by Robert Frost. Uh, it's my favourite poem. I like to have it with me so I can read it. And then I've just got some extra pages that I can fill up with, with other quotations. Um, we get, then get to the, the plastic folder, the one that opens at the top here. I have um, some poster tabs, um, stickers to to mark various um, appointments. I, I had a look at the ones from Filofax. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of them. I find them very tiny and mm, not, not, not as great as I thought they might be in person. So I'm just sticking with general, you know, stars and dots. Um, we don't have a staples here, which is a bit of a sad thing, so I, I'm just going with what I can get my hands on at the moment. Um, this is my plane, it's a card holder, it's a very old one, as you can see it's very creased. I probably will replace it at some point, but as, as of now I haven't actually got a purpose for it, so until I find something that will really work for me, it just hangs around. Um, then we get to my page that I've created. This is just a, a folder that I cut up. I've got Gonicol dots. Those are little glue dots um, that I create myself. And if I need to stick something in really fast, I can just rip one out. 
and stick it in and uh, I'm good to go so I really like to have those with me at all the time uh, we come then to my year in advance I haven't actually filled this out yet to be quite honest um, I will get around to doing that this week with various appointments and stuff I am needing to see what the girls are doing what I need to be aware of when I'm taking holiday that will all come in then we come to my first divider uh, as you can see I've sort of uh, I've just started to decorate them but I actually haven't labeled them I know what they are but I, I do plan on labeling each of them this one is my month overview this is my month overview on two pages I created this this um, template because the general month overviews only had little squares and I tend to have a lot of morning and afternoon appointments so I needed to have the days broken up for myself and so I created a, a month overview where the days are divided into two sections um, and on the side here I have a key so it's color coded and I can write what it's what it means I can stick in like the little stars off of birthdays um, so if someone's got a birthday I'll stick it in and write it down at the bottom here if you want this template it's, it's available on my blog for download the next section I come to um, is my agenda Go to the today. okay um, I'm still busy using the agenda that came with it. Um, this is the week on two pages. I'm hoping that I can eventually get my hands on a dodo pad because I'd really like to try one. Um, as of yet I haven't been able to do that. So I'm just making this work for me and I really don't like to waste paper. So I probably will stick with this for the moment. I've made various columns so that I've got um, a column for appointments, a column for my blog, and a column for notes so that I can sort of keep up to date with what's going on in my life and have it as an overview. In the top we, the top note section here, I've um, printed out uh, the calendar of, of the soul by Rudolf Steiner because I'm, a, I'm quite a big Steiner fan. Um, my kids going to the Steiner school and so it's sort of it's important that I have it there and so what I've done is I've I've stuck it in for each week um, so that's that's the agenda section and I come here this is my blog to do no lists um, I've created these myself just to keep up with what I need to be doing on my blog at various times and it helps me with my planning what what topics are coming um, so that's basically what I use for my blog planning. Um, the next section is my blog notes. So after I've done my planning, I will use the, the various pages here to just keep my blog um, notes. Um, these pages are dead basic um, blank A4s which I've cut in half and punched. I just don't like using pretty colored paper for something that's going to get scribbled on so I've just basically stuck with the plain pages. The next section, this here is just some wrapping paper. This section is my gardening section. Um, I'm going to be doing a section on um, square foot gardening this year and so I'm doing my planning at the moment. I'd like to get into that. You can see I have some colored paper here but I'm probably not going to be using it. Again, I just find um, yeah, blank paper works best for me, and so that's my gardening section. The next section uh, is my book review section. I'm reading quite a couple of books and I've started doing book reviews on a more regular basis in my blog. Um, and I found these templates are over at Filofax, they work really well for myself. Um, once I've written a review, I can either keep it here or I file it away. Um, and so it's, it's always good to have it here because then as I'm reading the book I can make notes. The next, I have extra sections which I've added and haven't decorated yet. But as you, if you recall, my last file of had a lot of knitting in it. It was bulging from all my knitting information. So I've now created a small, I'm going to be creating a small section for my knitting. This will have my queue inside of it. It will have my project that I'm busy with, the most important project that I'm busy with at the moment inside it, um, the pattern and the work in progress sheet. Then we come to the, the last section, well, the last divider that I put in here. And it has the address, the address pages behind it, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with these. Um, 
you know, uh, I might be filling out the most important people that I need to have with me because these days you never really remember phone number, do you? So I might sort of fill that up with um, people or names and phone numbers that I need to keep um, with me. Um, but I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with this section. Um, and then at the last bit I have, uh, oh, here's my registration. Um, my notepad, uh, here's my pen, my funky pen that my daughter got me for Christmas. It's the four colored pen, I love it. It's rather tight inside the pen loop. Uh, I do also have the Bic with the four colors and that one fits much better, but I, I much prefer this one, it's much more pretty. Um, yeah, so that's the Filofax, uh, the domino as it stands at the moment. Uh, it is definitely going to evolve and change. Um, become more mine once it's decorated it will be more how I want to see it I must admit I thoroughly am enjoying the domino um, I wasn't quite sure how I would enjoy it most people were raving about how brilliant the domino was and I thought yeah let's see how it is when I get it and it does it lies flat it's perfect it doesn't matter where I flip open the agenda always lies flat. I love that about it. I'm never having to hold this back to write. It's it's perfect every single time. Um, it's it's lightweight. It's so handy to take around. It's not it's not an extra lug of a weight that you're carrying with you. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's really wonderful. It is rather full as it stands. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing about that. I do need all the sections that I've put in there are ideal for me. So I'm going to have to figure out some way of maybe making it a bit more lightweight for myself or a little less bulky um, because if I put stuff in the back it really is very hard to put pages in. They all tend to pop out. Right, so that's my domino. Um, like I said earlier, those templates that I showed you, if you, most of them are on my blog for download. If you would like some of them, please do feel free to go and download yourself some and let me know how you, what you think of it. Um, next week I am going to talk about my petal. Uh, this is my petal pocket. Uh, I carry it around with me in my, my bag. Um, yeah, I'll go through it with you and let you know, let you see what I have inside it. It's a dead basic agenda. There's nothing, there's nothing really hugely impressive about what I've got inside, but I'll let you have a look inside anyway. So have a good week. Um, nice to have you back and I will see you next Sunday. See you then. Bye.